All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Knights of Pen and Paper 2. So quest, what do we got? We got Derp or New Kids in a Hurdle. Let's go for that one. Slay monsters and gain 50% more experience. Sure, why not? Can I, can I start it? Have I started it? A group of people spawn from the circle. They seem vaguely familiar. I think that mage is my little brother. Wow, this is so cool! OMG, they're noobs. So, what should we do now? The new newcomers look a bit lost, prodding their surroundings with their fingers. This mage tries to cast a spell. They're talking in third person. How cute. Well, it'll wear off soon. The other group scurries off to the countryside. How quaint. Happy looting, kids. A while after the youngsters have left, the village elder approaches you, visibly distressed. We... We need your help. What's wrong? As you may have noticed, a group of new players has just arrived. Isn't that what this place is for? Yes, yes, but the meddling of the paper knight had some lingering effects. It seems some of the random encounters are way too difficult for the first time players. The other party has been stranded in the meadows. Facing monsters way too difficult for their skills and level. I fear that if they're not helped, they may be scare scarred for life and never play another role-playing game again. We can't have that. They're the future of our hobby. Let's go. Go to the meadows and continue the quest. Voice acting is hard. So let's get out of here. Travel 5. I'm too poor. All right, I guess time to beat the shit out of a bunch of these things. How many can I add? Oh, come on. Well, whatever. Note to self, don't spend all of your money. Oh, apparently the minimum damage is just going to be two. Okay. Oh, that's easy enough. Uh, just beat the tar out of a purse. Oh, wait, no, the rat traps. Someday we'll have enough money to afford all of the travel costs, but still. For now, meh. Okay, are you kidding me? <laughs> Two gold. All right, let's fight another one. Always remember travel costs. I don't know. I don't know, man. At this point, I'm just kind of broken. Not really the end of the world, but still. Okay, two more gold. So now we can rest. That is the wrong way. Okay, uh... Good, it does not... cost money to rest. That would suck. Okay, let's go to the map and go to the meadows. I've got a rainbow unicorn as my mount. It's kind of great, actually. Alright. Oh, these guys are comically easy to fight, so I guess we can just roll through things. Please give me more, more gold, damn it. More! Uh, quest. Here we go. Kill five troglodytes in one or more battles to continue the quest. Alright. I mean, this is... Can I just fight, like, 20 of them at the same time? Be kind of nice, actually. Just be, like, party time. But, no. No dice. Now, do our attributes go up per level? I don't know that one. Actually, that's an interesting question. Guess you can't start with a full party. Yep. It looks like you recruit people along the way. I think after a certain point, I'm probably going to give up on the whole voice acting thing just because it's going to be, uh, time consuming. Especially coming up with voices for everybody. Then again, I guess it's not necessarily bad practice for me. Because I would actually like to get even better at voice acting so I'm, you know, super consistent with, say, my old, old person voice. Uh, or, you know, various other ones. I don't know. Anyway, gotta fight some more. Wow, how did you do that? Wait, I'm doing the old man voice again. Damn it. I lost the new voice along the way. Okay. Well, you just need to know which skills to use. Learning the effective combos is really important. Oh, you're saying nothing is more important than maximizing the DPS of your character? There's more to RPGs than DPS. You're so awesome. I want to be like you someday. All right, we get some more money. Oh, uh, it's a comically low amount of money, honestly. Uh, let me guess, adding a bunch of troglodytes keeps it easy. Let's just rest for the night and then move back. Yeah, the voice acting is fun. I will admit that. Been attacked during our sleep. Yeah, yeah. Of course, they go first, but it's hardly an issue. 
I like it how like troglodytes just sneak up on the adventures and, and attack them while they sleep, even though it's like wildly like an absolutely terrible plan. Uh, let's see. Let's keep going with repose for the time being. Do I want to power lunge? Can target the back row or attack with extra damage and stun? Nah, I'm gonna just keep going with uh with those two skills for the time being. Take three damage for failing each failing savings throw. Can target the back row or just back to healing. Let's just go with like party heals and single heals and stuff like that. Okay. I've bored of I've gotten grown bored of this place. Let's go back. Okay, quest. Derp. I know you're busy, but could you please help us with another tiny problem? Sure, it's not like the world will fall into ruin in the meantime. Well, actually. The summoning circle is the pride of our small village, but recently there have been some issues with it. The paper knight gag is causing serious interference in his magical energies. The summoning circle must be 100% clean to resonate at the correct ethereal frequency. Find an ancient summoning circle polishing artifact. The derp. You're calling me a what? Not you. That energy ring purifier. Please find the derp and help us clean the summoning circle. And my booty. It doubles as a bidet. Alright, so vault quests. Uh, the vault is an anti-magic shelter built by the Dark Dwarves after World War III. World War III? I thought this was supposed to be a fantasy campaign. Actually, actually, it's the Third Wizard War. In these days of dark fantasy, we need an apocalyptic twist. Is someone still living in here? This place looks rather clean. You see a gang of spectral characters approaching you. Whatever they are, they don't like your muddy boots. Fight the Unseen Servants to get the first part of the derp. Alright, uh, let's see, how hard are these things? Ah, let's kick the shit out of them. Are they just phantom maids? We're getting attacked by fa phantom maids. And they don't even do much damage to freaking dwarf man. I really wish I had actually been given the ability to name these characters, if only because it feels odd without being able to. I don't have names to refer to them by, and there's no, like, there's no naming things. Like, I don't know, it just, it feels weird without them. Oh well, whatever. I don't care. Alright, we got another loincloth, more initiative. You know what? I think we can throw it on him at this point. Oh yeah, we've also got threat one. So let's take one of these off, give him some extra threat, throw this on. There we go. So now that now the cleric is the one wearing the loincloths. Let's rest for a little while. Well, we get attacked at night. Hopefully we actually get to any breakfast? Cute. Oh, well, really? Just one? That's hardly a threat. Perfect. Yeah, I just want to get some of my SP back so I can, uh... Let's see. Oh! As the last servant dematerializes, a big D falls to the floor. You've collected the first part of the derp. Oh, yeah! Okay, we got we get a lot of experience, actually. Now what do we do? Slay more monsters, gain 50% more experience. The Dark Dwarves convinced all the bankers of Paperos to invest in their Leprechaun bonds. Then it turned out that the pot of gold was empty, and all the banks went bust. What happened to the Dark Dwarves? They fed Paperos to avoid prosecution. I bet the cashiers are still around, and about to attack us at any moment now. And over your bank books. Sorry, but all of our cash is in electronic form. Do you accept e-gold? What is that? No, we already have an E. An E, you say? We'll be needing that. Get the E from the undead cashiers. Well, let's just fight all of them as usual. Though supposedly this is supposed to be hard, I don't know. We'll figure that one out. Alright, group attacks. Oh jeez, this might actually be semi-difficult here. We might actually have to use basic attacks. Nah. Just beat the tar out of them. We'll go for the ooh, weakest link. 
Okay, I'm just gonna switch to regular attacking. I wish there was a way of getting your SP back somehow. That'd actually be kind of nice. <laughs> they re they really just do not do damage to him, do they? Well, I'm okay with that. Priest, on the other hand, is a little bit on the flimsy side right now, so let's... Let's go for a self-heal. Which gives him some extra SP. Not much, though. I think I might start just buffing that, that move. And only that move for the time being. Just because his heals are kind of wildly outpacing everything else. Oh well. Uh, let's just heal the dwarf up. I don't know how many... how much SP that gives him, though. Probably not enough. For energy? Yeah, we don't have enough. Alright, whatever. They don't have much life left, so we're good to go. I love the uh, the art for this area, by the way. It looks really nice. I, I, I think this game in general just looks really nice. I don't even use items. Hey, and we level up. Hope you didn't mark your HP with a ballpoint pen. Okay, so let's let's keep throwing points into repost for him for the time being. Maybe it gets upgraded at some point, or maybe we just max out, I don't know. Let's see, so let's keep putting points into Radiance for the time being. Oh, hey, it's four now, so the, the quantity keeps going up, that's useful. Okay. You rip the giant E from the transparent grasp of a cashier. Now you have the second part of the derp. Awesome! You are such good investigators that I added a new investigate button for you. You can use it to search areas for extra loot and secrets. Hey, that's useful. Okay. Uh, so we can investigate the area for all items and information. It costs me money, though. Well, that... Eh, hmm. We got all of nothing. Well, then again... Oh, it even tells me what we need to succeed. Okay. So we need to find 11 clues while we're here. I really am unlucky. I just got an achievement for it. A curious red stone among the rubble caught your attention. It seems to be no ordinary stone. Okay. We really suck at this. I might actually have to farm for money just to be able to complete this. Oh, well, that's disappointing. I need more party members, too. Hey, we got some money, though. Good. So we got 27 gold. I don't know what's at the end of the rabbit hole here, but we might as well go for it. Let's see. I also hope we can get new party members soon. Getting new party members would be kind of fun. I do wish it was, uh... I do wish it was a, uh... Hmm, maybe not an optional thing? I don't know. I guess I wish it was almost random what you get. Hey, jumpsuit! Oh, it's a, it's a Fallout jumpsuit. Thoroughly examining a pile of rags, you find a blue jumpsuit made from a durable fabric. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at equipment for a second. This is damage reduction too. Yeah, let's throw it on the cleric. He doesn't have any damage reduction, so quest. Fight an arranged battle. Aiming for derp. A cleaning closet in the back wall opens with a crash. Toxic Scavenger, great. It's the Toxic Avenger. What's this commotion about? That's the man Village Elder told us about. His summoning failed. With that face, I would escape to the forest too. So, accepted your cruel fate or anger at the world? Angry, violently angry. Your par party is being attacked. Oh hey, it's a bit of a coordinated attack here. All right, works for me. Oh jeez, oh jeez, that actually hurt a lot. Okay, uh, so why don't we do, why don't we just heal him up for the time being? He's got pre plenty of SP. Okay. It's actually a surprisingly hard battle. Then again, I guess I haven't been doing a whole lot of grinding here. I've just been fighting. Let's do a, let's do a team heal. He might run out of SP, which would be a concern, but we'll take out the front line at the very least and we can just wail on the other guy. Seems like a cool RPG. Yeah, I actually really like uh, Knights of Pen and Paper 2. It's not the most complicated of games, but that's nice. This is my only scene, so I'm gonna make it count. And now we just wail on him. Yeah, there's no way he can do enough damage. I'll keep healing anyway, though. Yeah, so this guy is a reference to the old Toxic Avenger movie, which was also made into an incredibly shitty cartoon. Which was kind of interesting as well. And by interesting, I mean terrible. Okay, so we get enemy quantity bonus, diversity bonus, and yeah, lots of EXP. Do I level up? No, not even close. Alright. 
As the sca scavenger fails, falls to the ground, you hear him whisper, Eek! Did he say E-K? Those are not the letters we are looking- Oh, did he say E-K? Those are not the letters we are looking for. Poor scavenger. Rest in pieces. R.I.P. Close enough. We take that extra I as improved. Um... That was it! Now return to Spawn Point Village. Alright, uh... Travel back. So if we're gonna close this for a second. We're actually going to, uh... We're gonna rest here. I'm gonna battle just for a little bit. Might as well get that level. I was feeling a little bit... I'm not gonna say under the weather... Under the weather? But, like, comparatively, we were definitely... Not powerful enough. Plus, I would spent all of my money doing investigations. So we might as well finish camping. There we go. Thank you. And let's do a uh, nice little fight all of the maids battle. Just just to get that one extra level. I don't know. A little bit of grinding goes a long way in this sort of thing. So, I like how Riposte actually uh, even hits the, like, the back row. That's actually really handy. I'm glad I've been putting a lot of points into it. I should see if there's a way of, like, boosting it up somehow. Because that would actually be really cool. Like, boosting up the chances. I, I guess I need a higher stat that I did not invest in that much. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have actually... I should have actually attacked one of the mid-maids. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. So. I guess Riposte kind of handles it for me. Okay, was that enough? I hope that was enough. Almost. Okay, I can I can do another battle. These mid-maids aren't particularly... Or the, these maids aren't particularly powerful. I mean, they're mostly just wailing on the dwarf, and let's be honest here, he is one tough cookie. Okay, let's just heal him up. Yeah, I'm definitely... When we level up, I'm just definitely gonna put points into that SP boost ability. It comes in handy. Seriously, look at it. It's accounted for more than half the damage I've done here, which is kind of great. What was, what was that other thing? There, there was like a weird special effect that came off when we did the heal spell. Either that or that's what the heal spell looks like and I've just never paid attention. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, that should be enough for the level up. Beautiful. Okay. So yeah, we need to raise his sense, senses uh, skill. A lot higher than it currently is. Though, admittedly, body is probably a better skill for him at the current point in time. Okay, so what do you want to do? Cleave. Like, I don't use the other ones. Let's just keep going with Repost. Oh, shoot. I got Pommel Strike. Damn it. That's not what I clicked on. Oh, well. So let's just upgrade Radiance. So now it's five, five energy. Okay. Uh, it's time to leave? Yeah, it's time to leave. This is good enough. Spawn Pipe Village. Oh, and I can even investigate here, too, can't I? Alright, fine. Let's just throw away our money. We got a club. At least we only have to spend a little bit of money on this. And next party member, no matter what, absolutely gonna be an elf. Maybe a wizard, I don't know. Somebody with an AoE spells, if I can get them. That seems like a good idea, and I am out of money. Goody. Okay, well, let's turn in that quest. Hooray! Uh, we have signal again, and that extra eye made it even better. I derp? With the summoning circle back in action, you can add more characters to the group. Just click the chair. All right. So, we could upgrade the party. Uh, so what do we want? So we want an elf. Oh, yep, they have a higher senses role. So he would have actually been a really good warrior. Good to know. Unfortunately, what level is he going to be? Probably low, unfortunate. Well, let's go... Mage? I mean, you know what? It's probably going to be a human mage. God, he looks super dumb. What about Jock? No. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh boy, that looks great. So because we already have a lab dude, we can't uh, we can't have another one. Interesting. So this is how you get all your dice 
stacked up. But yeah, you can't have repeats of the same person. Oh, that's a shame. Because these would have been useful. Okay. Hmm. Oh. That's not bad. So I really don't want him to be a hipster. I don't want him to be a goth. Guess he could be a rich kid. And he's dropped more gold. You know, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. Let's go with rich kid. Richie Rich the mage. Plus he gets uh, senses, which I don't know if that's actually going to be useful at all. It, it definitely feels like being an elf would have actually helped uh, my being a warrior, weirdly enough. Okay. Oh well. It's not like it really matters that much, so let's add him for 10 gold. Well, I got the money. And then let's have a jock. Dwarven Jock. Do we want a Paladin? What abilities does he, does he have? Do you target an adjacent enemies? Afflicted with weakness. Uh, restore health to party member and then you. Gain threat. When you're at one health, energy works as an additional as additional health. And enemies take three damage when attacking you. Okay, so that's Paladin. What about Hunter? D damage to random enemies. D -d 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 -d. It's not bad. Not bad. Or thief. What's the what's thief? Deal two damage to any target and adjacent enemies. Enemies with conditions take double damage. Attack any enemy with 100 extra damage. Dex deal two extra damage to enemies at full health. When you are attacked, you automatically take the shield action. Okay. I, mean, I don't mind pass uh backstab. Grappling hook could be really useful. And barrage of knives. Oh, the price goes up. All right, well, we got a wizard for the time being. So, we're poor. Let's see, what do we got? We got a torch. Uh, let's take a look at, not lab rat, rich kid. You can have a torch. You can have a club. We'll have to do for the time being. We'll figure everything else out later. There's gotta be a better way of making money in this game. I guess questing, but still. Uh, and let's keep investigating, even though this seems- Oh, hey, because we have extra party members, searching goes faster. Potentially. Unfortunately, we're terrible at searching. I feel like 20 should give you, like, double the results or something. Son of a bitch. Alright. Well, either way, I think this is a pretty good stopping point. So, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Knights and Pen- Knights of Knights and Knights of Pen and Paper 2. And as always, thanks for watching.